What makes it so special? Why does it stand out from everything else? For one thing, it's the whole child approach. When we went to school, they wanted to educate just our intellect, right? They were feeding us with information. It was about educating our brain. But in Montessori, we are educating the whole child. That means their physical needs, their intellectual needs, their language needs, their social needs, their emotional needs, and their spiritual needs all together. When we get on the floor and we're using some of the materials, you'll see how this happens together. The other thing that makes it, oh sorry, the highest goal in Montessori is that every child should reach their full potential in all areas of life, not just academia. Okay, in all areas of, of life, you should reach your maximum potential, not the standard that I set. When we went to school, we have to uh, score between 90% and 100%, right? But sometimes that's not your maximum, okay? So we don't have to be compared. In Montessori, we don't compare children to each other. They reach their best in the pace of time that they need it. Uh, Montessori classrooms have what we call a prepared environment. This classroom you see here, we call it a prepared environment because it is prepared in such a way to meet all the needs of the child. When we do the diploma course, we talk about every element of the classroom, from the way the shel shelves are arranged, the way the materials are placed. It's not that one day I will get bored and I'll move this somewhere else. It doesn't work like that. There's a reason why this is here and why these ones are placed over here. There's a whole uh, plan behind all of that. That's what makes it a prepared environment to meet all the needs of the children. So the prepared environment is, of course, a beautiful room. You've seen Montessori classrooms. They're always so inviting, right? The activities attract the children. They want to work with it. They want to touch it. All the equipment is stuff that you can touch. It's not like when you go into another classroom, it's about books and worksheets and things like that. There's an order to the room. Everything has a place. And the teachers are a part of the prepared environment because they are trained to observe and work with children and follow the child. And of course, the Montessori materials. There is no other philosophy of education that will offer you this many tactile activities that cater to the child's needs on so many levels. Okay, when we do it, you'll be like, oh, now I get what she was talking about. The materials are attractive. They cater to the five senses. They go in order from easiest to more difficult. And they are self-correcting. When the child makes a mistake, he can see it for himself. He doesn't need a teacher to come and tell him, guess what, you need to fix this. There's something not so correct here. He can correct himself and that's the best way to learn. Okay, do you have any questions? <laughs>